So you can't randomize, that's unfortunate. Primordium Buffet. This unit can be eaten multiple times. When this is eaten, add this to the eater. What? That sounds sick. A champion that gets eaten? Uh, let's try that out. So a champion that gets eaten. And who should we mix it with? What's a classic uh, Umbra? What's a classic... Sorry. What's a classic Umbra match, huh? Melting Remnant? Primitive Mold. Reform a random unit. Deal 10 damage to the front. Apply 2... Gain 2 strength and draw 1 next turn. Apply 6 sprouts to the front enemy unit. Discard a card at random. Oh, that's interesting. Reform a random unit. Wait, can I, can I reform the... I can't reform the champion, can I? I can reform the champion. Let's try, let's try Melty Remnant. Melty Remnant reform. Let's go. And we didn't lose the bolts there, no? That last one? I think they came back better. Take care, uh, big Biggie. Good luck with LASIK, man. You be any reading glasses? When I get to like, get to like 45, I'm 46, I'm 31st. I'd rather watch reading glasses when, instead of needing them to see. Yeah, I should think about that because I wear contacts all the time and I wear them for long hours. So my cornea is actually messed up. Like, it's misshapen at this point. Okay, so we have Cannibalize, add 3 Uncommon or Rare, Mind Collapse, or Reform. You might be right, Lava, you might be right. I'm going against Talos, Arcus, and Seraph, the patient. So is it always, uh, I guess they're, they're only testing the new ones in this beta. It's not always going to be Seraph, the patient, right? They're just testing it. Oh my god, Gorgeous Blades happen additional time? Yes, sign me up. Yes. So does that mean that the eating effect, that's not the same as Gorge, right? So what does this one become? A, a, an aggressive edible? He becomes, he's still edible, but he becomes aggressive. Let's make him, is Buffet even better? Because here's the thing, don't I have Molded? So let's go for Molded on this. Yo, take care, Danton. What's up, Lonwar? How you doing, buddy? Yeah, glasses are pretty sexy. Uh, I have glasses here that I need to put lenses in because I procrastinate so long. I procrastinate so long because I have nothing. Remember, I'm I'm not gonna do more buffets. So if I was in a different class, maybe more buffet would be worth it, but not in this situation. So we're gonna make this guy gay. I will do this. Plink's gonna work, right? Plink's gonna work. Oh my god, Plink. You had one job. Alright. Well, Plink didn't hit the, the lady in the back. That's really unfortunate. Well. Well, I've been he's been getting eating and this guy's getting it's a that's a beefy train steward. Alright, Plink can hurt work here, right? Plink? Ah Oh, we tried. A primitive mold is not very good right now. Okay. Primitive mold is good now though, right? Because I have the um Damn, I still can't kill these things. How am I aggressive? Look at that guy. Oh, but he has burnout one, which is awkward. And I'm also dazed. I want a mind collapse, but all right, we're taking some pyre damage today. I like my collapse a lot though. It's just that the 10 armor is a little bit too high at the moment. Do I just cannibalize here? Is this guy enough to win? Giving a damage show is not bad. 
Getting him health is not bad. Alright. And maybe I can move my Buffet Man. Buffet Man is kind of awkward though because it takes a lot of time for it to like actually... Yikes. Um, well we win. So nice. Uh, my, my Gorge effects happened twice, so I need to take advantage of that. Also, Prismal Dust. I need a unit to actually, like, feed... I'm using Train Steward right now. The mods I was using Ironclad, all I was doing was Info Mod. And, um... A mod that allows people to hover over relics in Twitch chat. That's all I was using. The other one's called Info Mod that I don't think is on Steam yet. I can make a thing for you though. Uh, info, info mod. Let's make a command for you. I'll get it for you right now. It's still in beta though, keep in mind. Just be mindful of that. How do you do a new command? I forgot how to make a new command. I always forget. How's game? This game is fun. It's like. STS is probably more in depth right now, but they're adding a lot of updates. This is still getting a lot of updates, still a lot of balance changes, still a lot of new cars, new champions. So there's, there's a lot to this game. This game's very fun. How do I always forget how to make a new command? I don't understand. There you go. Um, space prism, prism dust, keep things alive. Descent, very useful, very useful. This does AOE damage. I need AOE, right? Well, what do I have? I need AOE. That's double gorge, that's sick. That's a great tank. What's up, Sophia, how you doing? That's a great tank with double AOE, so that's fantastic. Um, what spell would I like to keep? Mold is a lot better than primitive mold, I'll tell you that much. Primitive mold is a little bit awkward right now. I'll go this way. It's kind of a waste, unfortunately. A double gorge, so this gives me double gorge effects. Mm, we're going against the patient, though. Isn't damage really good for the patient? The M queen is nuts. This is a pretty, pretty wasted shop, actually. Double Gorge Effects is great, though, because now, together with the Buffet, these Gorge Effects are insane. Can I afford to do this? My Pyro Health is a little bit low. And my things kind of... I have Mind Collapses. I have Plink. Plink is okay for here, right? Yeah. It should be fun. You just got off work, I ate some dinner, it was only frozen pizza, but I was hungry as so, hell. Hey, frozen pizza hits the spot. You ended up taking double space because I wanted more opportunities to play my Plethora of Yeah, I did that last one as well. 
So Plink should be good here, yeah? Boom. So we eat, we eat, and we eat. Sick. Um, next one's gonna be rough, though. Next one's gonna be rough. I've got a lot of damage shields, but um, what I need to play is this, Shadow Eater. Can he survive? He can. Oh, but he attacks. Oh, thank God he doesn't die. Let's blink up here. Beautiful. So this thing's not only buffeting off of this, but like... This is actually insane. I'll tell you what. This double gorge plus this buffet champion is actually nuts. Love it. Can imagine this guy's absolutely insane. Imagine give a buffet randomly. Um, I'll cannibalize this. I'll put my train shooters down here, right? Why not? Oh, but I need to get ready to. S Wait, if I drip fall, if I put, uh, if I drip fall, I could have done some imps, right, and kill everything. That doesn't matter. This guy has tons of damage shields. I I need to just get in one morsel. Just one morsel, and I kill everything. Sick. What is he doing? We don't want no spikes. I actually had no damage on this thing though. I need to put like a damage thing behind it. He's just tanking for no reason. Hey, this thing's tanking for no reason at all. Whatever. Okay. Now we bring back the buffet. Boom. The burnout is really bad. So. The burnout's awkward, I can tell you that much. Burnout buffet is a little bit awkward. Should've thought about that. I don't need those. More reformed, more molded. I mean, yeah, cause I wanna keep bringing my, my buffet get back, but. All right. Artifacts versus upgrade my units versus power health and K, okay, so. Artifact just seems nice. There's some good relics I can use here. What would I want to upgrade though? Maybe upgrade Shadow Eater? No. Upgrade Crucible Warden? Potentially? With like multi strike? Let's do Artifact. When a friendly unit dies, apply plus into that unit. Wait, that's kind of sick, right? This is also AoE when a burnout unit dies. So that's pretty good with my. When I mold back something, now I have AoE covered. But I also already have AoE covered with my Shadow Eater. Let's do Resin Block. Automatic Crow Spikes. Do I need this? So Spike Shiver Colony. It goes well with resin block, right? I can resin block them and then like... Do I need Spike Shiver Colony? You got hungry? Yes. This does make me hungry actually. I don't think I need the real spikes this time though. Because I have these mind collapses and I have... I actually don't think I need them this time. All right, Talos.
Okay. All right, here we go. Um, what if I just play them both together? Cause I can bring him back somewhere else, right? I guess I have Plink though. And Plink is leaders. Um, she's gonna strike me. Okay. She's gonna daze me. That's whatever. I'll take the dazed. You gonna daze me here? I don't care about that. I need more pip space actually, right? Now that I realize it. That's insane. Incredible. Look at these morsels. Incredible. The resin block's insane. Resin block is gonna make these morsels very formidable. Look at these morsels. So now we need to think that's duplicate morsels. Wait, look at these morsels. Holy shit. These things are out of control. The morsels are infinitely better than Train Sword already. Does the day still work even if like I have damage shield? Probably, right? Oh. oh my god, these morsels. Look at that damage. Incredible. Keep us alive. These morsels are actually kind of crazy. Yo, Ace Train, Ace Trainer Oscar, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for using Twitch Prime with me. Oh, that's insane. Uh, I, this guy needs to get life, though. He has no attack. He needs attack. Wait, I just realized he needs an attack. Fine, buffet it up. I realize it's got he needs any attack and he's sick. But whatever. They should just win. Please. Please. I should probably let my units die so that he gets the uh, resin block. So Intense on death. Trigger units extinguishably without killing it. Do we have any extinguish? I like Intent on Death. I think it's very powerful. Because... Of certain cards that the Revolt Remnant has. But... What if you give Endless to a unit? How would that work? What if you give Endless to a unit, like the Champion? You keep putting it in the front and it keeps dying, but it comes back stronger and stronger. With resin block. Is, does that does that work? Now I can be a chump blocker. When this strikes, it applies rage to all burnout units. This um summons more souls. Do I need that? I can put that in the lane with the but that's really bad with rally, right? Rally. I can put that in the lane over here, but we make a lot of more souls. I don't think we need this. I'm doing I I'm doing good. I'm I know how you doing, buddy. Is this pip space? Do we need pip space or what do we need here? Um, this is a little bit weird of a build. Card draw. Energy to play more molded. Nah, he doesn't need burnout to get the resin block. 
Feast with Holdover with Buffet and the Shift sounds crazy. Yes, Feast Holdover. That's uh, that's actually insane. Feast Holdover. That's what we're looking for. Pip Space, I could utilize. Duplication. I want to duplicate something that can take advantage of the fact that this guy has Buffet and I have Endless, right? But I can't really duplicate anything right now. Let's remove some of these back cards. What do we got here? We got a holder, but not we don't have feasts. What if I can cannibalize though? Does cannibalize work on my guy? It does, right? I can cannibalize my champion and he keeps getting stronger. But then I don't get the buffet thing. So I, I would rather get Feast over the Cannibalize. So what's the better thing to hold over? Cannibalize is cool with Endless, but it doesn't get the Buffet procs. So it's sort of useless. The Dripfall is kind of good to keep descending units. Molded is no longer even important anymore because... Um, unfortunately... Our champ is going to be endless. It's more than it's important until we get to the endless, I guess. Let's save some money here. Apply burnout. I'm applying burnout means that my champion can stay alive longer. But. Um, yeah, I mean, I do make burnout stuff. But the burnout morsels, they get eaten anyways. And the champion. I don't need any of these. So what am I? I'm 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 currently on aggressive edible. All right, let's go aggressive edible all the way. So honestly, aggressive edible with resin blocks should be kind of insane. Let's see how this goes. Spell shield. I don't care about that. Hmm. I guess that does stop blink. That's kind of problematic. Um, do I want to do Primordium on Buffet? Let's try this. I guess the is actually kind of insane. <laughs> oh, this is actually an insane combo. These guys are gonna get stronger, but oh, they're dead. Oh my! Because it, it does twenty damage AOE. Holy shit! Um, sure, why not? I'm also healing for tw twenty. Sure, why not? Primordium's made of morsels. Primordium is insane. I just killed like everything. Okay, GG. Now I need I now need him back and he's back with a vengeance. Holy shit. Keep sending them down to their death. Wait, did I just break the game already? Yes, sir. Keep sending them down. Life steal. Oh, they're so dead. That's that's forty damage AOE. Wait, fossilized fangs and shadow eater is kind of disgusting. It's not even close. What a power spike! Oh, is he gone again? Let's bring him back. And this time, let's give him endless. He can even jump block for me now. I could keep Dripfall here, I guess, right? 
Might be useful. Okay, that works. Oh, I just win. I just win. I just win. Fuck yes. I just win. Look at that unit. 199? What the fuck? It plus it heals for 20? Wait, that combo is disgusting. Cra and it's considered... A, is it considered a morsel unit for Shrabantosis? Don't tell me it's considered a morsel unit. It's not, right? It's a champion. Okay. For a second, I was like, wait a minute. Shrabantosis is still very good, though. The fact that I had double gorge effects. Kill a random friendly unit. Kill a random non... That's pretty good because... I can put this uh, endless on one of my units and then like just eh, that's very situational. Memento Mori is actually not that good. Substituting Blade is pretty good. Yeah, that's that's why it's batteries would be more, exactly. I can totally see that. I could totally see that. It's a good call. It's a good call. Permafrost on... On what? Should I have my Toasis maybe? What about Remnant Pack when it's ready to go? Alright. So I can give Consume on this, but that's awkward, right? Consume and Plink, it's not bad. I think Subsume Blade, cheaper. We're collecting a lot of money here, so we're gonna go for a big shop at the end. A random awoken consumable, melting remnant consumable. Let's take a look. Umber versus a melting remnant, real quick. Should be some cards here. Umbra has some decent ones, like Shroud Spike. I'm sure it does, drunk, and that would be insane. Yes, now I want to go do that challenge. Trample. I'm going to do Umbra. I want these morsels? I don't even think I do. I know I have double gorge effects, but I don't even think I need these. Do I have enough units for this? I pack morsels is fine. Let me use the bathroom again. I'm chugging water. Alright, boys. What's the next boss? Let's find out. Artifacts, so we can handle them restoring full health, right? Because we're gonna get some pretty high numbers here on our units. Although this is a little bit scary. For random artifacts, I'm gonna do it. Oh, this guy does have sweep, which is really bad for little Mr. Um... Right, this is awkward because I think it's when I use Plink for damage. But if I use Plink for damage, then... How much damage do I have? 40... Plus 42. 42 damage. It's 82. It's not enough. So he's gonna stay alive. Um... I gotta wait. I'm gonna do some cannibalization. If I get this guy big, then. Huge. That's what I'm talking about. Now he's gonna be strong. Look at that. Alright. We need Shadow Eater plus Primordium, and that's a wrap. Shadow Eater plus Primordium is, is, is a wrap. It's not even close. Um, I can just send this guy down until I'm ready to fight him, and then I can just I can do Primordium next turn with Shadow Eater. Oh wait, and if I do send him now, he's 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 uh, dazed, right? So if I do Packed Morsel, I can actually get Packed Morsel out, which is actually not that good because 
Okay, I give, I, I give, I give, I do give him some, um, some attack, which is fine. But what's important is that this guy's got big enough now to maybe handle this thing. Not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. So let's try to make it get there. So that guy's dead, and then I could. Um, I could drip fall this guy again till I'm ready. This guy's gonna be huge. I want to do plink, but I'm scared. That is not gonna kill. Okay. Shamantos is good. All right. And now this guy's huge and big, but at the same time, so are these dudes. These guys are big life McGee's. Um, I need reform. Okay, I'm reforming the morsels, which is great. I need to put a morsel down here. It's important. Kill everything there. Oh, they attack twice. So it's important that I do this. And now the problem is... I didn't kill this unit. So if it's not to kill that unit, it's actually quite bad for me. Eventually I can outscale him, but there we are. We're outscaling. Especially now if I use my champion. If I just put the champion here, isn't it just like game over? These things are getting strong though. Look at the damage on these things. Close to actually killing. The fact that this guy didn't die is quite bad because that means I'm gonna get leakage now. I wouldn't have gotten leakage before, but now I'm gonna get leakage. And we just got the remnant back, but it's like, doesn't matter. Um, if I put my champion here, how good is it? Oh, that's, a, that's a big amount of leakage though. Can I bring this guy down and try to kill him in that lane so that I don't have to worry about the leakage? Is that worth it? I think it might be... That's definitely lethal, yeah? The problem is... Times 5. I have 22 damage shields, but yeah. multi attack times 5 is really bad. It's really good against damage shields. I think we try to go down because I don't want to take this leakage, right? So we got to do the math. Um, this guy's going to heal 20 every time. And this thing's going to stay alive for two turns. So, but I can't even get to get my champion. If I get my champion, then it's, oh my god, I got my champion. So stay alive for two turns. This thing's going to gain. So if I'm correct, this is... It's got double gorge effects, so you're telling me it's going to gain 200 and 60 life. Is that how that works? No, so it doesn't get double eating effect. All right. Only the gorge effect. So the only thing that changes is the fact that he does 20 damage and 20 health. All right. First time my enemy unit dies, add two morsels. That's not the worst. Yeah, double eaten, not double gorge. Or other way around. Uh, gain energy. Damage shields. These are kind of expensive. I mean, can I use Kindle? I don't have enough card draw for Kindle, I don't think. Reformer unit and apply an additional. Okay, Wicked Blaze. 
Um, that's another way to get my champion back, right? No, but if he has endless, it's not going to matter. It is good for this Primordian, though. It's really good for the Primordian. That's actually kind of insane that Resident Block is really good with him. That's crazy. Merchant of Magic at this point, I'm thinking of like just because I want to maybe get Holdover on Molded so I can constantly bring back Primordium, but I'm also thinking about upgrading this Substance a little bit more or maybe getting like a little bit more out of my choices. But I do want to remove. I love removing because I feel like at this point the play planks are kind of bad. And the Primordial are actually very good because I have Rising Block with Morsels. So I think the planks are actually just need to go. And we got a lot of artifacts here. Whenever a card with consumers played, deal 4, 20, 30, how many consumers do we have? And we have a pack of morsels, we got the two planks, we got Prisma Dust, got Remnant Pack, and we have a lot of consume. Although damage shows are not bad either, right? Jump blocking and stuff. This kind of, I think I'll go for the damage route. A decent amount of consume. Oh, I love Hell's Banner. Magic power is interesting as well, right? What is magic power good for? Or mind collapse? And subsuming blade. Hey, magic, magic power is not bad. I can't afford both. Is Hell's Banner more important for energy? There's going to be Ember Drain coming up, right? Do we even need the energy though? I don't feel like we even need the energy. It's useful. It's very useful. Fortunately, I can't afford both. Magic power is good with the planks we just removed, exactly. I don't even know if think Hell's Banner is that good right now though. Because I don't have that many expensive cards. I have a lot of zero cost morsels. Energy is not that important. It helps me get more of the X cost cards, but that's about it. So this is. When you cast a spell, you get all spells cost plus one. Well, I'm not gonna cast a spell, I'm casting the unit, so. I think we get to step in, right? Oh, maybe we can just wait and go up top. Buy some time. Prismal dust. Crap out of this. I want to use Drifal on something though, so I can keep getting it. We got Shadow Eater, so we could put Primordium down bot and just Shadow Eater that crazy. Might as well just do that, right? The first time an enemy unit dies, you add two more souls. So we should kill an enemy unit right now. And now these two marshals killed the whole bot lane. Uh, we're gonna buy time to simmer in the sun here. So what we're gonna do is get health on this guy. It does 40 damage AoE. That's too good to pass up. So this actually does 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 100 damage AoE. Insane. 100 damage AoE. What a doozy. Look at the damages. This is incredible. This is actually incredible. I want to drip fall the boss. Now I have lethal and damage on the boss. Fantastic. This deck is incredible. And now we have our champion back, so. Let's go do this, bring him back. He needs to die more often though. I guess the burnout is actually good for him. Die more often. Isn't Cannibalize good for him? He dies more often here? Yeah, hell yeah, look at that. Bought so much time by that Cannibalize. Cannibalize just bought so much time. Look at that. It's huge.
Look at all that AoE damage. I guess I had a one contrition, so I don't want them to die here, so I, I shouldn't play anything else, but. I could drip fall, why not? Easy. We really need Feast. Feast will make this pop off. And now we waited. We, we avoided all the, the weight of contrition, which is great. Well, this is lethal. Ah, oh, he is going to kill them. Oh, not if I do this. Sick. I'll just playing fuck it. Oh, well, I was insane, actually. What? If I daze him, now I can play things like this. What does this have? I'll play all my things here anyways. Too many morsels, I don't know what to do with them. So many morsels. Finally, some blink got some... Uh, now I got the endless, but it's way too late. Wait of contrition? I can't help that one. Let's go ahead and put that down here. Um, I don't know who Endless is going to go on. It's frozen, so I can hold on. Yeah, this boss is quite easy, huh? Also, my deck's pretty good against it, though. Uh, let's put Endless on Primordium now. It doesn't matter, though. By the time you put Endless, this is just stupidly good. Oh, I forgot to bring a unit. Wait, what if I just put... Primordium down and have two super strong lanes. It says the first time you kill an enemy unit. Ah. Um. Awkward. I made it days, but I want to keep that. I want to keep it going. That's why. I want to keep using dripfall. So this thing's out of control. I wonder if I can actually kill this here if I put enough minions. If I had Shamatosis right now, like I think I could potentially kill it. If I just drip fall my own unit back, do I just don't I just win? I do, right? I want to get a higher score. This Umber Champ is sick. Oh, don't we don't have death on intent, right? Remove all burnout effects and deep effects from a unit. So how does that work with molded? So if I if I mold something, and then I it dies, but at that point it's gonna have endless, right? So then no longer no, 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 has burnout. How is that gonna work? So endless is weird. This is really weird though because endless makes it kind of. We need card draw, but endless makes it weird. So what needs to happen is that it needs to be a pit chump block. But if it's chump block, and then I don't get the effect out of it. I don't know. This is weird. Let's see what artifact we get. Oh, it's my last duplication, right? I was duplication over here. So what would we duplicate if we were to duplicate? Because the thing is, the drip are cool, but I don't want two holdovers. Also, subsequent blade is not that big right now, unfortunately. 
And Shamantosis is probably a decent duplication, honestly. Shamantosis is a really good duplication, actually, with Shadow Eater. I think... Ah, but I gotta be careful for Rally. Although, Shamantosis does feel like a really good duplication. What am I looking for upgrade-wise if I do Merchant Steel? Um, maybe Multi-Strike Crucible Warden's best case, or even Multi-Strike Shadow Eater. Enough morsels for two Shadow Eaters, but then I, where did I put it? Top lane? I mean, I'm, I'm down, but... That's true. Yeah, I can keep resetting the burnout. Um, so it's duplicate or a, a random artifact, some health, and it's an upgrade. If I go for upgrade here, then the duplication over here is spells or upgrade over here. Um, let's, take a, let's take a look. What does this deck want? Mm. Another Shadow Eater is not bad. Another Mitosis and Shadow Eater together is probably really good, but... We'll do this. Okay. Endless. So I get endless, but... Hmm. This is a miss. Quick. Quick can be out of control though, with of how this is gonna go. Quick and damage is weird though. I think I just save my money. Quick is not bad though. Quick is not bad if I keep this guy as my skiller. It feels awkward with damage shield though, right? Like he gets like he gets like an extra attacking because of damage shield plus quick. It feels like it's a waste of money a little bit. Merchant of Magic instead. Maybe a trinket. Am I gonna am I gonna have units with no upgrades? That's kinda weird. Quick. It can come in handy, but I have damage shield, so it just feels like it's bad. It's it's really bad for what my deck's doing. Also, this is gonna get insane, isn't it? Aggressive edible. I'm talking about. Let's go for the gold. We need the gold. We need to get some nice trinkets. Special doesn't affect me that bad. Because the send still works through it. Got my Shadow Eater. Oh, it's game over. I got Shadow Eater. Game over. Game over, y'all. I can do it on top lane, but I wear this recruitment is good. I want to hold on to it. Unfortunately, I didn't get to um, shot my toasts there. I would have loved to. Um, keep bringing this guy back down. Let's do pack Marshall here first, damage him, and then bring him down. Oh, what a sick play! Something, something as small as that feels so sick. Even this plink feels great. Feels fantastic. We're bringing back some of these morsels. I mean, sure, why not? Absolutely insane. And I have all the more space up top for all this stuff. Why not? Morsels for days. Now endless and this is game over. Beautiful. I, I I have space for another unit like in the mid lane. I'm mean, making bot lane like a kill lane, but I don't have enough pip space for that actually. Should I just cannibalize actually? Because unless it, it should come back, no.
And that allows me to do like a lot of AoE right now and then summon it again next turn. Seems okay. Some of these guys are getting huge. These morsels are getting huge. This is the morsel offense. You got all these extra morsels too. I'm gonna need um put him top lane. I think putting him in bottom lane is fine. This guy's already so big, it's like This is totally fine. Look at this guy, holy crap. You don't think he's the last line versus the boss? You don't think so? Oh, I didn't know piercing goes through damage shield. That's crazy, or spell shield. Oh, damage shield is spell shield, I guess, different? That's weird. I guess piercing goes through that? I might have learned this before in the past. You don't think he's in the last line versus the boss? I keep summoning new morsels. I shouldn't though. I should just, I should play the old morsels, right? Like these. These are the morsels I should be playing. Look at that. Look at that morsel. What the frick me? Oh, blade works. It's true. It does work more. So I should have used that. You're totally right. You're totally right. Look at these morsels. I can use the morsels to actually just kill. Easy clap. Jesus, that's a beefy unit. I have so many morsels though, this is like too, way too many. Also, I wanted to drip fall because I want to keep using it next turn. We need, we actually need another unit to, to put in the mid lane. And then I think the deck's done. Ah, I win. Uh, I don't have to do anything. I can use this on my own morsels, right? Is it gonna hurt me to play my, my primitive guy? I don't think it is, right? It's not gonna hurt me, right? No debuffs. Shamantosis on this. That's not gonna hurt me, right? Shamantosis, there's no way that hurts me. Shamantosis is insane. This is just overkill. What's up, J, uh, J. Brewston? What's up, man? Alright, I do need a, a unit for the mid lane. Forever Consumed is not bad. I feel like I can take advantage of that, but also, I don't really need it. I do have, I have extra energy at times. Eh. Like, things like spells are not bad because I'm spending so many, so much. I have a lot of excess energy, and also, there are times where I just play. Um, I think this is actually really good. I play mostly morsel, so I have energy for things. Remove all debuffs and all buffs. That like, gets rid of the melee weakness, right? All right, take one resin. It's a lot of new cards. Interesting, interesting updates. We can go for duplication. All right, let's go here. What do we got? Permafrost, magic power. Mine collapse is pretty good magic power, I'd say. Wait, before I do anything, trinkets. Um, when you play a unit, a random card is reduced to zero. Okay, that's fine. I'll reroll here. Do three damage to the 
Okay, that's really good. Whenever they lose, it's like a burnout. X cost card. Oh, the X cost value is pretty good, actually. And Teeth of Gold is really good. Um, Alright, never mind. I'm already done. I wasted all my money, but I think it was worthwhile. What is this good for? I don't even need to make anything cheaper. Now that I have Flicker's Liquor, I don't even need to make anything cheaper. <laughs> I just wanted to do that for the fuck of it. Holdover was sick, though. Alright, so what we want to do is actually get another unit. So, do I want the unit to be another Shadow Eater? Or do I want it to be another Shadow Eater? Alright, game over. If I don't win, I'm getting 5 subs. It runs going well. This runs going well, yes. Oh, gotta be careful not to rally. Yeah. The number one challenge here is to not rally too much. Number one challenge. He's on the bot lane, so I don't want to be in the bot lane right now. That's unfortunate. Um, that's a lot of damage. Holy shit! My only question is. insane damage incredible damage play the morsels while I can um prismal dust is it worth it get it out of the way or nah I mean sure alright Buffet means he can be eaten more than once. And then when he's eaten, he adds this unit's strength and health to the eater. It's insane. Let's summon back down bot lane. Um, with pack morsels. Oh my god. Morsel miner? Where's my mitosis? Hmm. He's gonna. I'm gonna lose a unit, but that doesn't matter, right? I have Crystal Warden. I need to play it up top, but I have to wait. I, is it worth giving him five strength just to play Crystal Warden? I think it is. It's worth it, yeah. Five strength should get this out. Yeah, it's worth it. Five strength to get that out. I think it's worth it. Last time I had him up to fifty, it didn't even matter. I'm not saying I want to repeat that, but I can cannibalize my own hero and then bring it back, which is insane because it comes back with even more damage. All right, all these morsels though are way too cloggy. I'm getting way too many morsels. Alright, so we are melee weakness. This is a good time for resin removal. And Substitute Blade exists here. I finally got... Oh my god, we got so lucky. The fact that I hit Primordia was huge, because now we can do uh, rem Remnant Pact. I got lucky though. Like, 100%. Anyways, I'm going to do resin removal here, right? Get rid of melee weakness. Even though I have damage shield. Still has rally though, that's the only unfortunate part. But this guy needs to stay alive. I mean, I, it's kind of insane. The way this has been going, it's kind of insane. Alright. That luck was insane. Undeniable. Morsel so Miner. Oh, we have Mitosis. Uh, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, guys. Let's get this out of the deck. Interesting that that didn't work. Uh, 
Let's get these guys scaling up. Get him nice and healthy. And all three lanes are chugging along. All three lanes are chugging along. We got Primordium, baby. Oh, who wants to get it? Let's put it bot lane. He's getting huge. It's just sickening. If I, now with Dripfall, I could actually work around Rally so easily with Dripfall. Wait. I can work around Rally so easily with Dripfall, I just realized. Easy. Get to do damage and I get to play with my, my units, no problem. Matter of fact, play even more units. Rally's not going to stop me. Oh my god, all that extra energy though. I can remove the burnout and the reapply burnout so that it dies quicker. And that keeps it scaling. So if I remove burnout and reapply burnout, uh, I'd actually want this to be burnout, but I can move melee weakness from here. I, I can't move burnout, I don't have that yet, what I'm talking about. I summon here, and then since I want to summon. 48 damage versus um this is doing 40 40 damage 48 versus 40 but then I get to play another unit up top I can just play it here but I don't want to lose dripfall although I don't need dripfall anymore do I I'd rather draw into something else like at this point I'd rather draw into Mitosis. I don't even need your fall at this point. Although, keeping it around is not bad. Camps are great, Sam. What's up, man? Alright, I'll keep it around. So, I, I do what? Oh, I have Heath of Gold, so I only does two less damage. That's nothing. So, Primordium, I can't summon here unless I... Yeah, so I can't summon here. But, jeez, Primordium is getting big. If I do Wiggish Recruitment, then... It's no longer Burnout, but I actually want the Burnout for it to die quicker, so this is awkward. A little bit awkward. Uh, we're just going through the at this point. It's like beyond GG. So let's go ahead and just take this win from. It's beyond GG at this point. Although playing one unit here is worth it, yeah. Like I know the rally effects, but playing one unit here is very good because of. Oh, well, I guess technically I could just trip fall. And just <laughs> avoid rally altogether. Um, that works. But here's the thing. I could also just like rally one more time and play another unit. Eh, there's no need. Final wave. Alright, we can win this. So, Rally is still in effect, though. I could drip from. I think if I drip from my unit, it's game over, right? Um, I'm pretty sure it's game over. But I kind of want to play a unit just to, like, wrap it in its face. Some of these units are kind of crazy. It's worth giving him 5 strength for this, right? This is on beta. GG. I need to play another unit up here so I can get more energy. Beyond GG. No. Now it's beyond GG. Sick. Loved it. Loved this. Super cool uh, champion. I think Primordium is probably my favorite from what I played. I haven't played a lot of them, but I already feel this would be my favorite. 
I think it's, I just love gorging. I've always loved gorging. And I'm not talking about the video game. Yep. Yeah.